Greetings everyone. It's been a long time since I've done a tasting on YouTube or IG Live or any place uh, social media related. At least tastings that weren't just words alone, but my ugly mug in front of the camera <laughs> after having just woken up. Uh, today I decided to delve into two white teas uh, from uh, Ketley. Uh, both were from uh, the uh, state of Manipur. I've talked about Manipur uh, at length, um, both in blog form as well as in prior tasting videos, when trying Shang Cha from the region, when trying black tea from the region, when even uh, trying uh, semi-oxidized teas from the region. But this time I had a special type of tasting. Uh, Ketley provided two samples, um, both made from uh, spring 2020 material. One was uh, a spring wild white uh, from older trees in the region. Oh yeah, uh, I've talked about that before. Uh, there are older Asamaka trees, uh, at least about 100, 200 years old in uh, Manipur. You can, I'll include the, uh, the blog and stuff in the doobly-doo if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, and... Uh, they also made a caked version from the same material. So I've got a loose version, and I've got a caked version. And I want to do them both side by side, because that's kind of what I do. Especially when I've just woken up, or am taking a very long time to wake up. Like today! <laughs> I uh, brewed both of them at uh, roughly 3 minutes uh, in 175 Fahrenheit water. Uh, the recommendation is uh, 80 Celsius, but uh, as you can possibly tell, I'm not exactly a Celsius kind of guy. So we're going off of my American measurements, if that's all right with you. Okay. Anyway, I did that, uh, and they even uh, even at the lighter temperature, uh, they still brewed pretty dark. I mean, I could have gong food them, but... And that would have made this a lot longer. I mean, not that that's bad for the algorithm, but I decided to just quicken the process and um, uh, brew them up and uh, then taste them and give my initial impressions. But first, I probably should show off the liqueur. As you can see, the, uh, uh, the loose version of the white tea brewed up a lot lighter than the caked version. And I think some of that might have to do with the fact that uh, there was just more leaf uh, in the chunk that I chiseled off uh, as opposed to the loose version. I mean, I tried to even them out. I tried to eyeball them. I sh one of these days I'll get another scale that works to uh, uh, further that along. But, yeah, as you can see, loose is light. Cake is dark. Yeah, so anyway, let's get on to tasting. This is the uh, loose version, the Spring Wild White. Confession, I've actually had the Spring Wild White before uh, a while back, uh, and I, uh, I noted how much it was uh, sweeter and... Uh, uh, also more cantaloupe than uh, it had been in in prior years that I tried. Prior years, I mean like one other year. Um, this one uh, is uh, just a touch smokier, and I don't know if it was just a different batch, um, but the, the the cantaloupe and uh, floral aspects are still there. Uh, kind of a golden raisin cantaloupe on fire, or near a fire experience which I like you know that's okay mm. caked version um, actually maybe I should rinse my palate so to speak it would be smart wouldn't it Shut up. <laughs> Kettle wanted to keep going. <laughs> Caked version. Ooh. 
more robust, uh, a bit earthier, uh, heavier on a stone fruit uh, aspect. But this is actually a marked improvement compared to their other attempts at pressing uh, white tea back in 2019, which were, uh, which brewed far darker and tasted more shung-y. Um, this at least maintains the white tea character, and I think it has to do with uh, improvements made to their steaming and pressing techniques so that it doesn't darken the leaf. So they might have either... Uh, 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 given it a slow steaming or uh, uh, lowered the temp on it or did it for longer uh, and then waited for it to, and then waited for it to dry longer I mean so many guesses and I I guess I could probably ask at some point but uh, as it stands yeah a marked improvement over the uh, the white dragon ball I had uh, back in the day um, I am I'm, I'm just glad that the uh, the fruity notes are still there. A uh, touch of smokiness, touch of earth as well. Um, but, uh, hmm. Actually, I think smoke would be the wrong word. These are toastier uh, than I recalled. And I think that might have to do with the fact that I just did, I didn't have these fresh. So... Uh, they've been aging a little bit better and as a result have taken on uh, an earthier bend, an earthier toastier bend, which I like uh, and uh, is uh, proof that they are uh, capable of being put in storage for long periods of time if need be, which for you uh, white tea agers out there, all five of you that might be watching this, uh, that might actually be a benefit. Anyway, I am impressed, and uh, I'm going to continue probably uh, steeping and eking these out throughout the day as I try to get uh, the gumption to <laughs> actually be productive.